Well, here we are. I've been wanting to make this video for a little while now. A couple years ago I found a really, really good deal on a rod that performed similarly to a lot of my high-end trout rods. I couldn't believe how similar the rod felt casting and fighting fish to some to other rods that I've used in the past. So I uh, kind of put together a combo that is within a it's in a good price point. It's going to be under that fifty dollar mark. So this is the rod here. This is the Shakespeare Micro Series, and they make this rod in a bunch of different sizes, different weights. Uh, mostly, I think centered toward like panfish and trout fishing. This rod right here is the one that I would recommend the most out of the whole series. Some of the other ones I didn't really like the action of it. They were really kind of not that great. The, sh the shorter rods, the action was just kind of lost when the rod got shorter. But for some reason, this seven footer has the action, the feel, the balance that a lot of higher end trout rods have. So now you're not going to get the quality components that you would with say like a higher end rod, you know, you're not going to get a nice split grip or the components that the rod's made out of is not going to be as good. The line guides, the reel seat, things like that. Just for example, we'll show you two of these. This has a Fuji reel seat on it. This is a JT Panhandler, my favorite trout rod. Split grip. Um, has, has recoil line guides that spring back when they get bent. This Fenwick Elite Tech has a nice cork split handle, makes it really nice and light. Uh, the connection point is uh, it's pretty interesting, it's a lot different than this. It's just some things that you're not going to get with this rod that you would with a higher end rod. But that's the trade-off, you're also not spending as much. This rod, it's a two-piece. Panhandler that I have is not a two-piece. I personally would rather have a one-piece rod just because of it increases sensitivity. You don't have to worry about that connection point ever coming apart or breaking. It's all one piece. But the other trade-off is you can pack this into a backpack, break it down, and it, it works better for that. It's a seven-footer, and I'll read what it says on it. It's a seven-foot, and it says the action is light. I don't know why they say a light action. It's more of a light power, I guess you'd call it. And the action would be what what the bend kind of is of the rod, how it loads up on a fish. So that's not really listed, but on these other rods, they list, they list um, for example, this Fenwick. It's a seven foot light, fast action. Now the JT Panhandler is listed as a seven foot ultra light, and on their website it says that it is a fast action as well. And when you're trout fishing, you really do want a fast action rod. You need, you need some backbone to fight the fish, especially if you're fishing in bigger water where there's a lot of current. You want the end of that rod to absorb a lot of those head shakes and take up a lot of the fight, but you want the backbone to really get the fish in in fast moving current. So the reel that, I'm, that I've recommended and that's completely really up to you guys. I think the more you can spend on the reel, because I would not worry about this rod at all. I would rather put a high-end reel on a low-end rod because the reel can make or break it. You need the drag, you need the casting, you don't want to get all this, have all this trouble with knots and drag issues and the thing just not working right all the time. So. Um, I picked out a very cheap reel that seems to be pretty reliable. It's a Shimano Sienna and it's a 2500 size. I would recommend, if you have the extra money, step it up to the next reel that they make. It's the Sedona and it's, it's, way, it's a lot better. Just more, the, the components are just a lot more quality and uh, it, it just, it's, it's smoother. But, but this, uh, this new Sienna that they came out with, I think like a year or two ago, it's light years better than the old version. It's like, it's, it's just way better. I have a couple of these on ice rods and stuff, so um, that's the reel that I recommend using with it. As far as line, I like to use some guys like Braid, some guys like Nanofill, some guys like Fluorocarbon. I hate Fluorocarbon. I can never get it to really 
manage well on the reel. So I've kind of split the difference and I go with a copolymer line. This is P-Line and it's uh, CX Premium is what it's called in the moss green color. For this rod I would use anywhere from 4 to 8 pound test. I tend to go a little bit heavier with the 8 pound because I uh, fish in some faster moving current quite a bit and I just want the extra strength and it's not going to really hinder any action of the baits that I use. So. Everything that we're talking about today, this rod, reel, the line, even my other gear here, I'm going to list it all in the description below so you can check it out. Click on Amazon, it'll take you there. You can buy it through there if you want or just check it out and uh, see, get a better look at what we're talking about. So now we're going to compare, because this wasn't listed on here, what the action of this rod is. We're assuming that it's probably, just by looking at it and fishing with it, I'm assuming that it's probably a fast action or a mod fast, meaning that most of the bend starts in the tip and it's in the first you know, half of the rod here. Um, so we're going to compare these three rods that I have and kind of just see how they stack up against each other and try to determine what the action of this rod is. So let's just look at these two rods first. The two that are loaded up right here are my two higher end rods. The one in the background here is my Fenwick. It's labeled as a seven foot light fast action. And my JT, which is this other one here, is labeled as a seven foot ultra light fast action. And you can tell just by looking at the bend in these rods, these cups weigh pretty pretty close to the same amount and they're just hovering off the floor right now so they should have the same load under them. The Fenwick in the background has more of a moderate bend actually uh, that I would consider. Uh, the JT has more of a true fast action where most of the bend happens you know up in this area where with the Fenwick in the background, the bend is kind of going throughout the whole rod. You can see it's actually bulging up in the back and coming down this way. But um, let's check out that Shakespeare. To me, it appears to be a fast action rod. It's more in line with the JT. This is more of a straight on view here. You can see that Fenwick in the background really kind of, the whole rod is just kind of bending in a, in a nice C shape there, which isn't necessarily bad. But for trout fishing, you really want a fast or mod, mod fast rod. But for the money, this little Shakespeare for what? $12 something or whatever it is, $20. You're getting a lot for your money here. Now granted, you're not going to feel as much as you will with these two rods just because of the material, the material that the rod's made out of, the components that they use, the real seats are completely different. It's just, you're not going to get the sensitivity but you're going to have very close to the same sensation when you're fighting the fish. So that's the Shakespeare Micro Series, guys. The best trout rod I recommend for under $50. You really can't beat it and got really nothing else to say. Go pick one up. Go start fishing. Like my videos, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys out there.